Hello everybody. So October 6th, International Teachers Day. So I thought I would uh, put back and my teachers as well. Because I've never done something like this. Uh, so uh, uh, in my journey I've met a lot of teachers. So uh, I would try to add some memories of the teachers that I know and remember. And uh, which would add some color to Teachers Day. Because more than a wish, I think remembering the small moments which I had with them, which they were literally important to me, uh, I guess that would be uh, uh, a sign of appreciation uh, and gratitude to all uh, the teachers that I have in my life. Well, uh, I started my uh, schooling uh, most probably uh, way back. Initially, it was Montessori then, uh, or kindergarten as it's known now. And I had uh, one teacher, uh, Mari teacher. She was my first kindergarten teacher. She taught me for almost two years in kindergarten. And uh, even still, I think today, uh, I would see her. Uh, she would uh, teach. And uh, actually, uh, the most important teacher in my life would always be my teacher. Uh, I, uh, I went from Montessori uh, uh, to a place, uh, to Guchhubar Kodman Nayakanda, the Guchhubar Kodman Nayakanda Montessori. And, uh, I always remember fondly uh, my teacher, she was my first and uh, most important teacher, I guess. Then moving on to St. Benedict's College, uh, my grade 1, grade 2 teacher uh, was uh, Manel teacher, Manel Rathayanavis. And uh, Manel teacher's father was my uh, father's teacher as well at St. Benedict's College. And, uh, even up to date, uh, wherever we meet, uh, Manu teacher too plays a very important part. Uh, she uh, was a very caring teacher. She made sure that all of us uh, get the best out of it. Uh, one interesting memory. Normally, I would uh, walk around the class always. I would never sit in one place. And uh, Manu teacher, as I'm calling Manu teacher, uh, she uh, took my uh, shoe, tied my uh, shoe lace to the table and uh, she used to keep me. So uh, that memory is still there. So whenever I think about Manel Teacher uh, and uh, even now when I walk around the class, I always remember that even in my small days I used to walk around the class all the time and uh, she uh, used to tie uh, my shoe with, the, with myself to the table so that I would not walk around the class. Also, uh, uh, grade 3, uh, Devika teacher was my teacher. And uh, some interest, grade 3, grade 4. Some interesting memories about Devika teacher was now, uh, once you uh, pass grade 1, grade 2, then grade 3, grade 4 comes in. And then you become a bit naughtier because you're on the school surroundings, I'm which you're familiar. Uh, so, before inter. Uh, what we would do is we would uh, eat in class and eating in class is quite big. So what we would do is we would put our head inside the school bag and uh, we would eat food. And uh, I remember uh, fondly, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, I remember fondly, uh, uh, she would be when we put our head inside the bag and eat, uh, she would ask what are you doing? And uh, then uh, she would, uh, we would say we are searching books, but in reality we would be eating food, putting our uh, heads inside the bag. Then grade 5, Dijma uh, is a strict teacher. Uh, she was always uh, very punctual. Uh, she had a straight face uh, and uh, she was very strict. Uh, but uh, she was a good teacher. She uh, taught us mathematics uh, and science. Uh, then uh, I was doing a lot of practicals actually. We used to be always uh, in the college level. We would come and uh, what we call uh, do a lot of uh, practical work and uh, she was very uh, interesting but also very important teacher that I met. Moving on to grade 6, we meet one of the legends at St. Benedict's College, uh, Miss Chitra Vilantham. Now, Chitra teacher, she's still there, she's in uh, USA now, I think with her son. And uh, Chitra teacher was a, a strict lady who would have her own way of loving us. Uh, her first, every day first period was seeing her in school and uh, if you do not do work, uh, not do her homework, Kevin teach you came 
kan nah, she, uh, she used to dress uh, uh, very smartly and uh, uh, she would always uh, what you call it, uh, look scared uh, she was a sexual head in school and she used to call me Kalu and uh, every day first period guarantee uh, like a prayer I would always get hammered from uh, Chitra Deja but she would forget it during the day and then uh, during the day as we go along uh, it will be as normal and uh, grade 6 we used to play early morning uh, in the basketball court we used to play Abnata football and uh, when we enter the first period our shirts would be full of sweat and she would hate this so guaranteed every day first period we are all kneeling outside listening to her lesson so that's how grade 6 went on but uh, Still, she was a very active teacher in a uh, single period uh, and uh, pushed all of us to do a lot of uh, extra curricular activities apart from the school work. Uh, she was one of these teachers who was an icon. She would always push the students, not just academics, but always uh, what do you call other work as well. Moving on, uh, remembering the late Mrs. Uh, Rani Onis, uh, she was a great student teacher. Uh, then Jayadhari uh, sir, uh, Max sir, uh, then uh, Theodore sir, uh, Commerce and Accounting sir. Uh, we would always remember even today uh, how he taught us Blamu Deru. Lachu Arya Sanli Dhamma. Lachu Vahuva. Lachu Arya Sanli Gatta. And he would uh, teach us uh, in a very interesting way. Uh, he would always wear white, fully white. So Theodore sir, uh, his iconic dress was the white dress. Uh, then uh, moving on, uh, uh, we will remember uh, Swarmani teacher, the late Mrs. Swarmani teacher. She was our senior teacher. Uh, again, uh, a lady who was uh, stern but also a uh, very loving teacher. Uh, she would uh, make sure she gave her 100% and uh, she would always be there for us. Uh, moving on, uh, uh, many other teachers who did. Uh, Maximus sir, uh, our mathematics teacher, uh, then uh, uh, Malkandi teacher, uh, then uh, uh, all of these teachers uh, played a very important part in making us uh, what we are today. So, uh, also remembering our grade 8 uh, sexual head, Meryl sir. Uh, so, Meryl sir was a very important uh, part in our journey. Because Marissa was also a good strict disciplinarian. He was one of the icons at St. Benedict's College. He had taught my father as well. So, uh, generationally, so he has taught two generations. So, uh, he would make sure that the ones he knew and all the others were treated the same way. There was no additional better treatment. So, uh, he made sure that equality was always there. Uh, he treated everybody the same way. And uh, what do you call that is something that uh, I would always remember when it's also uh, moving on. Uh, uh, then we moved on to uh, uh, great uh, lover, team lover, another icon at St. Nick's College, DJ Anthony. Well, uh, again, he taught my father as well, so I was a second generation student of DJ Sun. DJ Sun was a walking uh, encyclopedia. He had knowledge in every subject, whether it be history, whether it be geography, whether it be mathematics, uh, uh, and uh, he was a special teacher, very special teacher. Also, he was the MIC master in charge of Britain, and he would always make sure that all the students do uh, extracurricular activity. And uh, when uh, I was playing football, he was always saying, Why don't you come and uh, play cricket? And uh, there was his class school. Uh, and in this class tournament, uh, he would uh, select players for the uh, junior squads, under 15, under 17, 17 first, uh, the, the first. Because most of the cricketers that he brought in are actually from the class uh, cricket uh, tournaments. And he would play leather ball. There was no softball cricket tournament, it was always a leather ball cricket tournament. All the pads and the gloves were taken from the college uh, ground. And uh, uh, it was a, uh, it was actually very competitive. Uh, Saturdays we had all the matches, so Saturday morning to Saturday evening, guaranteed there would be a match. Uh, it would be a ten-over cricket fixture, 
so Tenmo was inside and he would be selecting players. And uh, also a very, very strict discipline. I remember in one of the class rooms, we were in the final, we won the final against uh, the, uh, the next team, uh, the next class actually, the, the E class, which had a lot of cricketers. Uh, cricketers, uh, famous names, you know, Jeremy Sarno, he was our college uh, uh, first level captain, he was also there. The NCC also that uh, he was the college first level opening batsman. Uh, many cricketers were there in the, uh, the, that class, but we won the, the final. And I remember taking a very interesting, uh, I was a wicket keeper, uh, interesting catch. And while taking the catch, Sidhu Bhagavan, because I caught Sidhu Sudan, I put the ball up with the and I threw the gloves on his arm. And uh, Lee sir was very strict in it. He called me and he slapped me and he said, Madhuram and Nigar Nihanda Bhagavan. So he was a very uh, strict disciplinary. And uh, up to this date, uh, even though he's passed away, uh, uh, we remember him very fondly uh, most of the weeks. Every time you know when you do something, you remember uh, how important these teachers have uh, made uh, you uh, made a big difference in your life. When they are not present at the moment, but uh, in your memories they keep uh, going on. Uh, then uh, we had a singular teacher, Royal Sun. Actually, none of us went for singular because singular classes. Even though I'm telling you, I never went for singular classes. Reason being, Royal Sun. He had a unique way of teaching. Uh, he would get angry when you, uh, there was a nickname that we used to call him, uh, I would not tell that now, but uh, he, would, he would be very angry when we say it, he would punish us, but uh, it was an extraordinary nature, uh, absolute ability of teaching the language, uh, because language is also like a science, it's not easy, it is a very difficult thing to do, and uh, Roy Sir was uh, able in uh, making us uh, what you call achieving. Uh, so, uh, also remembering uh, a very important teacher who was actually a turning point in my life uh, for me to do maths and science. And there was a teacher called Lalini teacher in college. She taught for a few years uh, and she was my mathematics teacher. And I would normally get uh, in the 30s because I, we were doing sports, 30s, 40s. Uh, but uh, Lalini teacher, one day she just looked at the way I would answer my paper and she said, uh, you can, if you can correct me, she was a teacher who would, uh, actually she uh, was a head of her time. Uh, she did proper teaching. Uh, she would teach you mathematics, not just from the board, just to get the answers. She would help you to think logically. And she uh, taught you the logical process in which you build the answer. And I owe a lot to my Lani teacher, even though I have lost contact with her. Uh, I go a lot uh, because a uh, uh, teacher was a very important uh, one in me deciding to do A level, uh, uh, do, do well in my O levels and then A level uh, mathematics. Because uh, up to then I thought I would uh, do a commerce subject uh, for A levels until I met Lanu teacher. And uh, she is a very important person uh, that I would remember. Even though I don't know where she is now, but I uh, pray that she would be well and uh, where she is. Also my Oliver Sarak's teacher, Yamuna teacher. Uh, Yamuna teacher is still there in college. A very practical lady, uh, very approachable, uh, very kind, very good knowledge on the subject. And uh, you could ask her any question. I remember her when uh, we were, she taught us uh, uh, reproduction. She was, even though a lady, she actually was professional in her job. All the boys had so many questions, but she answered it. And uh, even now, uh, even in college, I think she's doing a very, very good job. And uh, when she came to college, of course, her teacher was very young, just passed out, graduated from university. I think now she's already completed 25 years in college, 20 or 25 years. And uh, she's held in high respect and uh, very good teacher that I met, which was important for me when I chose and I moved on uh, what it called to do A-level science. Uh, moving on to A-levels, we met a uh, few important teachers. We had three subjects. First one was Raja Paksha teacher. She was my physics teacher. She is the wife of uh, Professor Bali Bayar, University of Kalambo, Professor Nicholas. A good teacher who would teach you to the point exactly what you need to know. 
and uh, even the examinations, he makes sure that the questions are hard. I had to make work, we had to work to get the answers, and uh, she was always very helpful in bringing uh, professor to help us in our seminars. The icon of A levels was for me Roshan sir. Now chemistry was a very difficult subject for me. Uh, I didn't go for classes. I went for uh, one class and then decided to stop it uh, because I would I would, I would understand. So chemistry, the full subject, I learned from school. Roshan sir, uh, he's retired now, but he was one of the best teachers I ever met. Uh, he had absolute knowledge of the subject. He had his own way of getting it. Uh, we would always meet at the chemistry lab and he would teach us uh, with chemical uh, experiments. And he was a teacher uh, actually which made a big difference and he came to uh, hear us. So I level uh, combined max teaching colleges. Uh, we have two teachers. One is Priyadarshan sir. And then uh, Upadi Vipalasri sir. Both are great teachers in fact. Uh, they would also uh, inculcate the logical thinking process. And also I went for classes near Erabad Prasad. Erabad Prasad was a former Anand college teacher and uh, he was also a very good teacher. Uh, so in my school life, those were my subject teachers. But apart from that, also remember fondly uh, Leonard Hapalachi sir. Also Ranjit sir. He was also my maths teacher. Leonard sir was my science teacher. Uh, apart from uh, what you call being uh, subject teachers, they were also uh, very important when it comes to uh, extracurricular work, uh, drama, uh, all of that. And uh, they were very important in uh, molding us to what we are today. Uh, also, not forgetting our English Literary Union teachers, uh, the late Mrs. Paldano, uh, Pushpa teacher. Uh, and teacher. Uh, these were very important teachers uh, when it comes to uh, our life at St. Benedict's College. Uh, in fact, uh, those days, the Shakespeare drama competition, uh, even though what you call uh, uh, it was in the primitive stages, St. Joseph's, St. Peter's, uh, Royal College, they would always win it. But with limited resources, we always made uh, a very big impact when it comes to uh, what you call uh, 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 drama. Especially, uh, we became uh, provincial uh, champs, and uh, all island I think we became runners up uh, when we acted Robin Hood. Uh, also, we uh, uh, what you call uh, acted uh, Macbeth in the Shakespeare drama competition, and these are things which uh, we did by ourselves with the help of the teachers. Uh, there was nobody coming in external to help us in our drama or the language or what we should do. But uh, we were helped immensely by our teachers inside. And also not forgetting Mrs. Daphne Lord. She was an elocution teacher in uh, Kotehena. Uh, but she would always help us. And uh, also remembering very fondly, uh, Miss Daphne Lord is not uh, living. I was also, uh, I went there for elocution and I remember uh, Mrs. Daphne Lord with great fondness. Because she is one of the teachers who, even whatever I teach, the language proficiency, all of that was because of Mrs. Daphne Lord. Uh, and uh, Daphne Auntie, as we used to call her, uh, wherever she is, I'm sure what you call her, the impact she had done on so many teachers was a huge amount. Uh, moving on uh, to sports, I would remember all my coaches, mainly Sarat sir, Sarat Kumar sir, he did honorary service. He was our under 12, under 14 coach and uh, former national player. Uh, he would come after his work and then uh, help us, groom us, uh, teach us the basics of uh, how to play football. And then moving on to under 16, Mr. Adrian Rudra uh, former national player. Uh, and also uh, we had uh, uh, Shaman sir, uh, star coach, uh, coached us from under 16, under 18 to first level. Also, uh, remembering uh, one of my school teachers, uh, Malcolm sir. Those days, Malcolm sir, now Father Malcolm. So, uh, very interesting uh, character indeed. Uh, uh, still with the Quee Kids, uh, just in the Machang level. Uh, but uh, always there for us. 
still finding searching about us even if you don't talk he will ask from others and see how we are doing so uh, so very uh, very important uh, teacher in our lives as well mr malcolm kandappa now father malcolm kandappa uh, still uh, continues to be with the kids uh, goes around the world meets all his students so one of the most inspiring teachers as well also there are some teachers who didn't teach us but uh, they still uh, played a very important part in our lives for example uh, demotius sir Timothy sir is a general economics teacher, uh, but uh, he never taught us. But he never taught me. But uh, up to still, uh, up to date, uh, a very inspiring teacher. A teacher who involved himself in all the activities in the college, whether it be a sports meet, a reunion, Tamil day, everything. He was there. Uh, he was there in the show, helping all of us. Also, our uh, uh, Sangeetha sir, Salat sir. Every event, every single event. whatever music needed he was there he was always helping always inspiring always helping all the students just to be uh, do the show much more better and uh, to get the best out of us uh, after uh, sanat sir uh, uh, music teacher is uh, mala basnayaka teacher mala basnayaka teacher is a art teacher again very very inspiring always helpful always even to date uh, remembered with much gratitude uh, we always remember mala teacher whenever we meet uh, she has been a very important teacher also remembering uh, uh, there was a english teacher called uh, philishan sir uh, he was also very helpful very helpful indeed and then titus sir uh, still in college icon of college uh, strict disciplinarian uh, taught me uh, general english in uh, school Uh, I remember that uh, even if you don't do homework, whether your whatever question you held in school, uh, he would always what make sure you are disciplined. Uh, he would cane you, and I still remember after I be, after I got my DSP badge, the first day I came in, I had not done general English uh, some comprehension homework. Uh, he uh, gave me a caning and kept me kneeling outside the classroom. So uh, Titus sir uh, uh, is also one of the icons that I can never forget. Uh, also remembering a uh, few important people uh, who uh, in my journey in school uh, was very important especially the late mr randy ratnayaka ratnayaka sir was uh, my father's teacher as well as he was the one in charge of prefix uh, now at kotehena it was not a very easy bunch to handle especially the prefix but randy sir always gave us enough opportunities to uh, grow as leaders uh, always uh, he would be a good listener he would listen to us and uh, then uh, help us to make our own decisions but uh, after it goes wrong or if it goes right he would give his basic analysis so he was a very inspiring teacher as well uh, mr randy ratnayaka the late mr randy ratnayaka always remembered with much gratitude uh, in university we met a lot of teachers Uh, who in their own right uh, help us to make the end product much more better. But the main product was made in college, and uh, for that, from kindergarten to school, the end product was fine tuned by university. Uh, and uh, I remember all of these teachers with very much love. Uh, and uh, these were some important people uh, who brought some very important memories to us uh, when I was in school. In university, of course, we prepare a lot of lecturers. Uh, they would come, deliver lecture, and move on. And uh, in fact, they would uh, be part of our degree. But uh, the school teachers were part of our lives. So whatever we are today, most probably was because of the contacts uh, or the association we had with other school teachers, uh, which is lacking in the, the modern uh, what do you call students. But uh, the more the more closer you get with the school teachers uh, you uh, realize later in life when you reach my age uh, the bigger impact that they have had in your life so on teachers day i would like to remember all my teachers with great uh, gratitude some of them are living some of them have uh, crossed the great divide but uh, in hindsight uh, they have always made sure that uh, uh, they have uh, kept a lasting impression in our lives so uh, that is my uh, uh, 
what you call message on teachers day uh, more than uh, you will always remember your teachers continuously uh, in some or in many parts of your life uh, in, in in some small activity in your life you remember a particular teacher uh, that's why the importance of a teacher is a teacher's job doesn't finish the moment the subject finishes or the year finishes or the exam finishes they will be part of your life forever so on teachers day i wish all the teachers a very happy teachers day in the bottom of my heart